Have you ever been poked by an umbrella or forced to walk in the rain simply to avoid being hit by one? It seems the wet weather is not the only burden on Vancouver streets. If you're coming um, along the street and there's an awning, please put your umbrella down or at least hold it to the side so that the people without the umbrella don't have to walk in the rain. It just seems like common sense to me. Uh, people's height is different. So when people are walking around, shorter people might not notice that taller people are running into their umbrella, so they'll turn or do something. I work in a business where they walk in with their umbrellas and they drip all over the place. So it's just sort of um, keeping in mind who's around you and maybe what not to hit them with. Whether Vancouver is preparing for light rain or hurricane, avoiding soggy conditions can be an inconvenience. One umbrella shop manager has a few umbrella etiquette tips for Vancouverites. If you're the one with the larger umbrella, you are supposed to lift it and tilt it out of the passerby's way. It's kind of uh, appropriate. It's whoever's taller or whoever has the larger umbrella is supposed to uh, kindly move. If you are without an umbrella, that's where you get to walk under the awning. If you have an umbrella, you don't need to be under the awning. Close your umbrella prior to entering the building and you shake it outside. Um, just to wick off any extra water. You don't want your umbrella just leaking water through the store or the restaurant that you're entering. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people want to stay dry right until the last second, and so they go into a building with their umbrella wet and shake it all over the inside of a building, which creates hazards like slippery floors, and um, you can also get other people wet. With the wet season ahead, many hope to see the unwritten rules of umbrella etiquette be respected. Michelle Morton in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.